the next thing we are going to do is to um, make uh, the hair for Mr. Lee. So this is the uh, final result of the um, blending of Mr. Lee's hands with hair. <coughs> so I'm going to use the um, um, use the hair and the fur and the function is in serious mass 7.5 and um, um, so um, before we um, I, I'm not going to um, explain every single detail to create this um, stuff instead um, Briefly uh, explain um, how to create hair with uh, hair and fur. So um, we'll start from a uh, create a sphere. Um, so uh, there are two way to create hair in CDS Max. So one way is um, is to um, um, create animation. Uh, use the um, apply a hair and a fur modifier and um, you can select uh, click polygon <coughs> and hit the update selection and this will um, um, uh, restrict the uh, hair only on the um, surface only on the um, surface that you um, selected this is one way to create hair okay so okay so after um, you apply a hair in the fur and um, you have to uh, go to a tool and um, style hair to um, use the use the those tool to um, to uh, calm and uh, change uh, maybe scale up hair <coughs> like so. Okay, so um, however, there's uh, another way to uh, create hair for your hand. Um, so we start from uh, create a line change the initial type to smooth drop type to smooth and um, I always start from um, create a line and then this line represents uh, represent the hair um, separation I don't know how to call that in English but uh, Basically, it's uh, it, it is a uh, invisible line that um, uh, separate your hairs into uh, two sides. So let's uh, create some some sign for the hair. Okay. Um, the rule um, the rule of thumb is. Um, make your um, uh, vertices uh, as uh, um, less as possible <coughs> so don't make too uh, too much uh, vertices um, it will be hard to um, to edit it okay after create a line um, go to hierarchy and um, change the uh, pivot point to the root of Sign, okay, and now um, start from the top view. Um, uh, rotate this uh, sign, and I want to um, make a couple, uh, make a copy of the um, of this spine. 
how many um how many supply as uh, how many spline you need to uh, create to cover all the hand um <coughs> it's a uh, approximately um tw twenty number of spline and uh, I will explain why um twenty number. This is only a demo, so um, it's yeah, only um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about ten. Take some time to um, position your uh, spine. <coughs> okay. Okay. So now, um, we'll do the <coughs> additional help, help and the uh, help and the turn. So as you can see in this um, um, styling here with the uh, spline and meter, um, you can see uh, in this tutorial he draw a about twenty um, spline for the head. Uh, let me explain it why twenty in Photoshop. Bands. Um, if you create a two hair spine, the software will uh, make a um, interpolation between these two spines. So therefore, uh, the software will insert insert a um, interpolation in those two spines. Um, and uh, however, this uh, interpolation is um, in a, a li linear way so um so if you if you um this is the this is the hand from the top view uh if you if you want to create a hair it's uh, very very smooth integration and therefore you have to uh, make a, enough uh, supply so this integration will like this yep now let me draw another hand 
if you if you create only one um sorry if you if you create only one two three four five uh the interpolation will will look like this so it's not a very um it's not a smooth um circle um for the hair and uh, this create a more smooth circle for the hair and one um idea you need to know is um later on we are going to um we are going to um attach those drawing together uh remember um um select your supply in the in one direction please do not randomly pick um attach those drawing and this will cause the um wrong interpretation of those drawing okay and uh this please check out the um previous last day and the further extension the reference in the tutorial uh, for more detail so now we are going to um, attach those uh, spline to together and um, so I select the first uh, spline um, you can uh, stylize your hair <coughs> by tweaking the velocity of each uh, spline yes and um, let me um, attach those together first After attachment, apply a hair and fur modifier to it. Okay, as you can see, um, very quickly we create a, um, a hair. And um, the hair is nothing to do with the ball. Just the ball is only to um, <coughs> let you know um, the position of the hand as model. So. Um, um that's it um <coughs> so these are several um, parameters you need to know um first uh, please look at the um, roots of um, of the hair as you can see um the root is um, pretty much uh, uniform and um there is no randomness of the length <coughs> however in the tips of the hair you can see the different scale of the our hair individual hair so um, this make the um, roots of our hair uh, more uh, natural and um, there's a uh, several uh, parameter you need to know um, first is the hair count um, reduce it to uh, about um, 3000 will be good enough because when you just on the display uh, roll out you can change the uh, display hairs percentage to 100 uh, percent and uh, you now you can see uh, the real um, number of uh, hair uh, when the rendering so it's uh, thick enough if you set it to 90 nine nine thousand is too much and uh, it will take too much time to render it and then uh, so uh, I usually set the uh, display hair percentage to about uh, uh, ten percent. And uh, the another parameter is um, hair uh, thickness. Uh, I always set it to low <coughs> number, about eight or ten, um, when uh, testing the hair. And uh, when the final render, I can set it to uh, ten or twenty uh, or or fifty. <coughs> and then the um, hair pads. Um, hair pads is um, something like a, a anti aliasing um, option in the rendering uh, dialog. You can set it to uh, uh, three. Uh, this will make uh, the um, hair more um, the hair more uh, real. Okay. <coughs> Okay, uh, so uh, 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 
Uh, this is the um, hair I first created for Mr. Lee. Um, obviously, the direction of the hair is wrong uh, because um, yeah, the direction of the hair is wrong because Mr. Lee's hair is um, uh, from in, uh, I don't know how to say that in English. Um, the direction is basically basically. A perpendicular to the uh, front of the face so it's from the front to the back like so and but uh, once I create this uh, model it causes a, a big problem because um, the direction is uh, from here to here and um, the root of the hair is too uniform, as I said in the in earlier. So uh, I have to uh, reverse the um, direction of the hair. So I'll set this to tip and uh, this to uh, the root. Uh, so how to do that? Um, it's very simple. Um, as you can see, all the hair in the all the uh, spline here, uh, you can go to the um, vertice level and uh, set this to uh, make first. Uh, if you want to change direction of your hair, you can select the end of the each spline and make first. So select each spline and make first. This will um, reverse the direction of your hair and uh, give more randomness to um, to the hair model. So I will load up the um, finished version of our uh, <coughs> Mr. Lee hands. Oops, uh, not this one. Uh, Mr. Lee's hands with uh, hair. Yep. Okay. So. Um, As you can see, um, although the uh, the hair in the here actually is on the root, and uh, I set this here is the um, tips of the hair. So therefore, I can play around with the uh, frizzle tip, and uh, this will give us some randomness to uh, Mr. Lee's hair. And uh, also, you I changed the root tip to uh, twenty five. I mean, uh, tw twelve and uh, tip tip to zero. Okay. And uh, uh, if we take a look uh, of uh, Mr. Lee's hair, it's um the hair is not um uniform. It's a uh, it's like a bundle and a bundle. Um, um, it's it is um, I don't know how to say this, uh, but uh, you can control this by um, uh, playing around with the multi-strain parameter. So I set the uh, multi-strain parameter to count to ten. Uh, tip tip spread to. Uh, Point oh five and the randomize to one. If I set it to zero, as you can see, um, sorry, uh, set the um, uh, spray percentage to one hundred percent. As you can see, um, if I set the uh, multi strain parameter to zero, um, the hair is uh, um, there's no bundle. If I set it to um, five. If I set to five, um, you can start to see a uh, multi-strand um, hair. Okay, so um, uh, I think <coughs> this cover uh, most of the um, hair parameter. So. Uh,
stuff here. Okay. So now, um, actually, I um, import a um, glasses model <coughs> for the mystery, and I set it in Material for the glasses. Um, I use final render. Um, I use final render glass material, set the uh, IOR to 0.5, uh, 1.5, and um, spectacular level to matching. Lighting and the growth is 31. Okay, and um, I set a, um, I set a, a HDI um, for the HDI lighting for the. this um, sorry for the skyline set the uh, skyline color to 0.8 and I I copy the uh, HDI to uh, environment map so you will see the uh, HDI background <coughs> in the background HDI image in the background okay also I Add a rectangle light from the side view. Okay, and uh, uh, because the um, as I explained the skin material earlier, um, I render render the image twice. Uh, in the first pass, I ren render the image with the um, final render skin material. So therefore, I have a serious, um, sorry, therefore I have a series of uh, um, render res result um, by use um, of the um, skin material, Mr. Li Zhenghui. And uh, next, I ap apply a common uh, of a standard diffuse material to Mr. Lee's hand and uh, render him again and this time turn off the um, rectangle line and uh, this will um, create a, another version another series of image of the rendering so therefore I have uh, two um, series uh, two group of series uh, rendering and I superimpose Overlay these two image, uh, change overlay type to um, I changed uh, the superimpose type to overlay, and uh, finally I will have a uh, uh, this image with the uh, uh, skin material and uh, enough um, en enough um, detailing detail. Of Mr. Lee's hand. Okay. So um, uh, this uh, cover all the um, uh, detail of <coughs> making uh, Mr. Lee. And thank you for watch this video tutorial. And bye bye.